Hi, this is Linda Bustos from the Get Elastic e-commerce blog, and today I want to talk about that one feature that over 80% of e-commerce sites are using, but a lot are getting it wrong, and that's auto-suggest. So you know that uh, type ahead menu that appears when folks are, are searching, and this is a feature that came on the scene a few years ago, and it kind of really picked up speed. I mean, Google uses it. Uh, there's a lot of use cases where it seems like it'll help, but it actually hinders more uh, than it helps in most cases. And I go through this in a recent guide that I wrote for the Get Elastic blog, where I actually uh, reviewed over a hundred sites. And I gathered a ton of bad examples. It was like shooting fish in the barrel. And I compiled it into a handy cheat sheet that you can use to ensure that your auto suggests aren't committing any of these sins and also how to fix them. So I'll give you a couple of examples. One of the most interruptive things is when uh, th these type ahead menus will start triggering too fast. So let's say somebody is typing and they type in the first letter. Let's say it's S. Now the search engine, depending on which auto suggest you use and um, like what, what ships with the site search that you're using and how it's tuned and how it um, determines relevance, it's going and it's scanning a whole database of, of products. It's, it's scanning an index and trying to pull, you know, anything, trying to guess what's the most relevant to the letter S, like really? And the bigger your catalog, the more interruptive this is gonna be. When I just type the word S and all of a sudden, here pops up 20, different items that are screaming at me, look at me, pay attention to me, and they can't possibly be contextually relevant to just the letter S. So in those kind of cases, you need to let the searcher kind of get far enough to where they've given you enough context so that the engine can then return something useful. Um, so triggering too fast is one of them. Another product uh, problem that I see all the time is uh, throwing in product results with site search suggestions or sometimes in replacement of site search suggestions. And what that does is it doesn't steer the searcher towards the most relevant set. It doesn't help them, you know, pick um, pick a better search term than they would have come on their own. Instead, it's trying to push a product and jump ahead of the process and say, here's a product. Do you want this product? Do you want this product? It's like, whoa, slow your roll. Like, let a person actually tell you what they're looking for before you um, show products. And the reason why this happens too is um, that the engine, again, is trying to pick something based on like popularity, sell through rate, um, you know, some kind of factor. And often these products don't even match the site search suggestions that appear in the same menu. Um, another problem that happens with that is sometimes you might be showing two, three, four, or five, you know, product uh, suggestions within that widget, and it looks like that's all that you have. So there's a lot of misleading uh, cues that can happen in this type ahead menu. So I really encourage you to go check out this in-depth guide. I walk you through, you know, over 20 tips um, and examples of what to do and what not to do. Um, I definitely hope you go check it out and thanks for watching. See you next time.